So last year I experimented with what is a minced pie and how do you actually make a delicious minced pie and I compared different recipes. So this year I'm going to actually make my own mince pie and I'm going to experiment with different flavors and from what I learned from last year. Let's try a minced pie recipe from scratch and certainly it is gluten free. So I decided for this year's mince pie, I'm going to add also some apricots. And I'm going to use 175 grams of it, replacing the currants in the recipe. But I need to cut them because you normally need small chopped fruits for a mince pie. And be careful with your kitchen knife, I almost cut myself. So here are my minced apricots and I'm going to transfer them to a bowl. I'm also going to add 300 grams of raisins and 175 grams of salt, 110 grams of, of mixed peel. And now I want to measure the different sugars. And I want to measure 250 grams of dark brown sugar. I'm going to add now the dark brown sugar over the mixed fruit combination. And I want to add now the zest of a lemon. Here's my lemon. It's a little bit of a green lemon, but that's all I got at home right now. And I'm going to transfer that now to my dried fruits. And I also need two shredded apples. Well, that's a little bit too shredded, I think. So, I don't have the appropriate shredder for it. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it very small. Or I can put, take out my KitchenAid, which I don't want to do. And Probably you should peel the apple, but I actually like often the peel, so I'm going to keep that on. Since it's not like apple pie, where I'm going to have a specific shape, I'm just trying to get it as small as possible. Okay, <clears throat> the apple's getting better now. So here are my chopped apples, and I'm going to add now my apples to my dried fruit combination. I'm going to also add the juice of one lemon. Oh man. That's a very, that's the juice of a pretty green lemon. And now the most important component, the Irish whiskey. And I want to add around five tablespoons of Irish whiskey, which is about one third cup. The secret of everything, liquor. Just look at this beautiful pot stilled whiskey. I'm using a little bit too much of a high end whiskey because I just don't have a lot of very basic whiskey at home. Uh, which, in this case, you definitely would normally want to do that. Now I'm going to put that all over the dried fruits. And for good measures, I'm going to add another tablespoon to it. I think there could never be enough liquor in a mince pie. I mean, in general, I think there should be liquor in any kind of holiday paste. Also, it just says add 200 grams of shredded sweat which I googled it and apparently it's pig's fat or so. I'm gonna substitute that with regular butter. Let's cube it and see what happens. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the apricots and everything else. I'm gonna quick cut it into smaller pieces. It just feels like cheese to be honest right now because the butter is so solid. <laughs> really like cutting cheddar cheese or so. And I'm gonna add now the butter. And the butter is important or like a form of fat because that actually helps caramelizing the brown sugar and the fruits. And that happens during the baking process. Here's the filling for the minced pies. And something very important for minced pies is that you need to let the filling sit overnight. 
that softens the fruits with all the whiskey and certainly it absorbs the whiskey and then it gets it's really tasty you don't want to rush that part of the process so i'm going to set this aside and tomorrow we're going to get going on making the mince pie itself i did forget to add the orange juice and the peel of one orange so i'm going to do that later tonight after i come back from my bike ride and it's not going to be on the video but it will be in the recipe the last thing i have to prep for my mince pie is certainly my dough which will have to rest overnight as well and for that i'm going to use my tart crust flour combination because it is a shortbread and i learned last year it's very important to have a very flaky crust let's add first the egg and then the 150 grams of butter so here's the butter and again i want to cut it into a little bit smaller pieces especially since this is really cold butter it's better if it would be soft so you can quick pop it into the microwave if you like. Um, I'm not going to do that quick. I'm just going to add that now to my pastry dough. And I'm going to start combining that. I'm going to use my hands for it because the butter is very cold. And I will have to break it apart with my hands. So certainly if it's um, not as cold as it is right now, you can very easily just use a fork. It's also easy to do it in a food processor. I'm going to pour the donut onto the table just because it's easier to mix it there. Now I really like to use often the vegan butter substitute for things like this because it's much softer. The nice benefit of butter is it has this really nice taste. I want to cut the butter a little bit more and this is technically a cake spatula to like straighten the edges of a fancy cake. But right now I'm just going to use that because it helps a little bit more. And by the way, my tart flour combination is on my website. So the dough came beautiful together and here's my finished dough. And tomorrow I'm going to roll out the dough, fill them with my mince pie filling and put them in the oven and then see how they're going to look like. Here's my chilled pastry dough for my mince pie. And it's pretty solid now, as you can see. And I'm going to have to figure out how to roll it out. <laughs> it's really stiff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into thin slices because then it's much easier to roll out oh, that's always such a process of rolling out butter pastry dough okay that's about a quarter inch which is a pretty good thickness so if you watched my last year's video it was a little bit hard to make the mince pie pastry so I figured I will do it differently this year and I'm gonna start with actually cutting out the cookie bottoms or the mince pie bottoms. Check it out, here is the bottom of the mince pie and it's a pretty nice thickness. And I'm gonna put now the bottoms into my muffin pan. And I'm gonna roll out the leftovers. The dough is getting a bit sticky so I'm gonna add a little bit of flour on it. And I'm going to use the ruler to cut out thin stripes, which I'm going to use as the edge of my mince pies. I do need to know the length of the different bands. So what I need to do is I have to measure them and I'm going to use my string for it. So I'm going to put the string into the muffin tin. And with that, I can see how much string I need and what is the circumference of my mince pie edge. So I'm gonna take the string now and line it up against my dough stripes to know how long the stripes have to be. So I'm gonna cut the length of my dough to the stripes. I'm gonna carefully place it now into my muffin tin. Because that's always what takes me the longest in making mince pie. And I'm going to repeat this process now until all my mince pies are ready. And I want to beautify the edges a little bit. So I'm going to take one of my little spoons here and press in. So the edges of the mince pies are much prettier now. And now I just have to add the filling. So here's my filling from yesterday. And I'm going to scoop it into my mince pie now. I want to make sure now that the pie filling is nicely pressed into the pie. Okay, and apparently it has too much filling left, so I will have to make some more dough. But here are my stuffed little mince pies. And now I just have to make the decoration. And here are my small little stars. 
I'm going to put the star in the middle of it. Here my finished mince pies and I'm going to put them into the oven for about 20-25 minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit or about 175 degrees Celsius. And I took out my mince pies and let them cool down. And now I'm going to use my cake spatula to take out the mince pie out of the muffin. And here are my finished delicious mince pies. I hope you enjoyed today's show and if you did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and check the bell to get notifications about any upcoming videos. And if you have any comments, feedback, ideas which I can try out, please make sure to add them below in the comment box. And I see you next week. Bye!